YouTube, YouTube, what is YouTube, Down Home News TV, I am Dre. We got an article coming from Fox News. The title states, Joy Reid suggests Biden recovering from COVID is exactly the same thing as Trump surviving an assassination. I know to some, this may not be news, but... The buffoonery of some people and their statements and how they get away with it without repercussion, but this is America. You're entitled to your opinion, unless you're leaning right for the most part, it seems like. <laughs> but now, uh, let's get into the article. MSNB ho MSNBC host Joy Reid suggests on Wednesday that the president recovering from COVID-19 is a sign of strength, similar to former president surviving an assassination attempt. These two men are both elderly. Donald Trump is an elderly man who, for whatever reason, was given nine seconds to take an iconic photo op during an active shooter situation. Weird situation, we'll figure that out one day, Reed said during the MSNBC Live coverage of the National, the Republican National Convention. Reed added that the media is portraying Trump surviving his assassination attempt and shortly returning to the campaign by appearing at his party's convention as a sign of strength. This is a lady that went to Harvard, I believe. I believe she went to Harvard. Let's just take a nice little look at her. For a person with common sense, not saying I'm the smartest or the sharpest knife in the kitchen cabinet, but for a person that came from Harvard, you would expect a more eloquent A more eloquent perspective of both situations. I know they say COVID kills the elderly more often than people of my age, probably her age. I don't know. She looks kind of old. But compare that to almost getting your head blown off. And we all know. A lot of people from MSNBC has their talking points, but I don't know. If I was them and I was reading that or had to say something to that extent, I'd be like, wait, 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 wait. My mind wouldn't be able to fathom the hypocrisy, I guess you could say. But continuing on. This current president of the United States is 81 years old and has COVID. Should he be getting, should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing that he's strong enough older than Trump to have gotten something that used to really be fatal to people of his age? If so, he does find out. If so, well, I'm sorry, I, I could read. I'm not the best reader, but I stare at a computer monitor for eight hours a day. And when I do these videos, typically I got to read this computerized generated article. It gets strenuous on my eyes a little bit, but uh, bear with me. Continuing on. So if he does find out of it and comes back and is able to do rallies, isn't that exactly the same, Reed said? The White House announced on Wednesday that Biden contracted COVID-19 and will self-isolate in Delaware. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre, some call her French dip, said the president was vaccinated and boosted and was experiencing mild symptoms. Reed said Biden contracting COVID is an opportunity for him to show how to be responsible. That's also a quite interesting opportunity for President Biden to also show being responsible. 
I assume he's going to put a mask on when he gets into inside Air Force One and not spread COVID around. But also to remind people of what hell we went through with COVID because of Donald Trump, like he said. <sighs> Should I comment on that? Should I comment on that? Let's just re re rewind a little bit. But also to remind people what hell we went through with COVID because of Donald Trump. I'm pretty sure I could go back on YouTube somewhere and find videos when, I would say pre-pandemic, when Trump was trying to prevent a, um, what was it, a cruise line from entering or boarding, allowing the passengers off into the U.S. because it was stated that they contracted COVID, but the mainstream media came out and stated that, oh, he's being racist, he's being xenophobic, he's not allowing Americans back onto American soil. And at the same time, somewhere during that time frame, Nancy Pelosi was in so-called Chinatown in San Francisco saying, oh, no, there's no virus or things of that nature. Double standards, people. But let's continue on. Here's a great messaging opportunity for President Biden to bring out the tape and remind people of how many people died. A million people are no longer with us. People's grandmas were dying along with their iPad. A great opportunity, a messaging opportunity. Should the White House choose to take it? I can't read any more of this, but I believe there's a video. Let's just see what it states. Hear from the horse's mouth. On that, these two men are both elderly. Donald Trump is an elderly man who for whatever reason, was given nine seconds to take a iconic photo op during an active shooter uh, situation. Weird situation. We'll figure that out one day. Um, but his survival of that and, th and bouncing right back and going right to his convention is being conveyed in the media world as a sign of strength. This uh, uh, current president of the United States is 81 years old and has COVID. Should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? that he's strong enough, older than Trump, to have gotten something that used to really be. Why is her hair blonde? Can anybody answer me that? I've never met a natural blonde black person. I have seen some Africans, though. Some Africans in Africa. With blonde hair, but I'm not sure if they dyed it or it's naturally blonde. Why is her hair blonde? I'm not suggesting anything, but for a person that speaks about race a lot, and for her to have her, I'll check out my, my hair a lot. I mean, I'm not going to state my age, but I'm pretty sure she's older than me, but come on. All that money she making, come on, you can do something with that. Fatal to people his age. So if he does fine out of it and comes back and is able to do rallies, isn't that exactly the same? It, it I mean, it's not exactly the same. It's not the same incident, but it's all it's an elderly man it, coming through out of an illness. It should. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about that. I'm pretty sure it's, it's not much to speak about, honestly, in my opinion, but... Down Home News TV, I'm Drury. Y'all have a good 